Hi, today I'm going to talk about this uh, Logi Slim Combo keyboard that I got from my iPad uh, about a while ago. So I bought this on Amazon and within a few weeks of using it, it started failing. Um, how it failed was like a few keys stopped working and you know, I don't know which keys, but a few of them start, stopped working. And then of course I filed a report with Amazon and I got a refund. Uh, but uh, I was more curious on why it failed. So what, what happens is I forgot about it. I left it on a shelf for quite a while, a few months in fact. And I recently just took it out again, just to test it again. And all the keys stopped working, all. I literally mean like not a single key was working. And so I decided to rip this apart before I toss it in the bin. And I'm gonna show you what's happening. And I believe this is a design flaw that caused this keyboard to fail. And I believe if you search the internet, there are a lot of people who reported problems with this keyboard. And uh, here, here it is what happened. Or rather, here's what I believe what happened. Um, this is the back of the keyboard. You can see a circuit board here, the battery and two ribbon cables, a white one, and there's another ribbon cable down here. Now, the white ribbon cable, I think is the backlight, um, you know, and this one uh, obviously goes through the keys on the keyboard. And so um, this piece here, this ribbon cable uh, is the one that is uh, the problem. Now you see this keyboard is, is not a, a rigid piece. It's a little bit flexible and uh, you have a tendency to use it uh, on the bed, on your lap, uh, not always on a hard surface. So there are times where you put it in a place where it may, may cause it to flex. You may take this keyboard out alone, or sometimes the magnet comes off when you keep it in the bag and it flexes a little bit when it, when it squishes against things. So what happens is that this bending and flexing of the keyboard causes this ribbon cable to come apart. Now, if you look closely at the ribbon cable here, um, okay, now, if I, if I bend it and, and flex it, it's actually pulling, tugging against that ribbon cable. And what happens is that over time, um, obviously now without the back piece, this is even more flexible than it used to be. I can actually pull it off, see, it comes right off. But uh, with the back case on, uh, it may be harder to pull it off, but this flexing causes the little contacts on this to wear out. And over time, it, uh, it basically, uh, is uh, gets damaged and they, that's why your key stopped working and so i think this is a design flaw um logitech what logitech should have done is to make this ribbon cable uh flex a little bit just like the white one they should put some bends in it so this connector might might have been better facing down and then the ribbon cable going down and then folding back up now if they did that that fold that uh that they that that is there would have allowed a flex and prevented this problem now this is like really like just precisely fitted to this this length and this little flexing moment and even sometimes just like typing on the keyboard would cause this motion and that will wear out the contacts and that's why this keyboard fails this is not a cheap product this is a hundred over dollar thing uh, at least in sing dollars and uh, i was quite disappointed that it failed although i got a refund i really wanted a keyboard that i could use and and i was i'm thankful that i didn't buy another one thinking that this was just a one-off defect now um uh, so I think this this uh, is a problem. Um, you know, uh, you shouldn't buy this keyboard if uh, anyway. This is for an old iPad. I don't really make this anymore, but uh, it, it is a design flaw here. Thank you for watching.